Today we are going to be using the free VSDC video editor in order to extract the audio from our video so we have it as a backup so we can bring it back into the video after we create a drop mark video. When you open the software it will ask you to upgrade but you can select to X out now, if you do not have the software, simply go to Google and type in your VSDC and look for the free video editor and um, select to go to the videosoftdev.com backslash free video editor and go to your downloads page and select the video editor where you can download, uh, if you have the current version, you can um, keep it. And if you do not, or if you do not have it at all, select to download by clicking this button and installing the software. Now that we have the software open, we're going to select the button and select a new project. And we're going to name the new project, Project sound one two three and I'm going to say finish and now it's going to give me the chance to select like a transition and I'm just going to say cancel and I'm going to come to the toolbar and there's a little film strip and I'm going to left click and I'm going to select to look for and select a video and select to open that video and I'm going to add it from the scene beginning and click OK and here is my video. Now all I want to do is to extract, export the sound file. Click in the white area and you'll see a check mark for video and a check mark for audio. Simply right click and select to export audio and if you're working with a Mac product and use an iMovie you can use the M4A format or if you're working with Windows you can select the MP3 format or WAV. I prefer MP3 and I am saving this output file in my video folder so I can find it easily and I'm going to select to export. The conversion is now complete. I will say OK. I do not need to save the working project because I can come later with the drop mark video and I can uh, bring the drop mark video and the sound file back into the software. So right now I'm looking for my video folder and I will scroll down and here's my project sound one two three I will double click. Oh my God, what an amazing day. And I'm here to tell you about a good event. I have my working MP3 file. And now I can simply open that MP3 file in VSDC or in Camtasia along with my Dropmark video. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. Thank you.